Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, it's no on strike again, so I've got my little helper. Time's quiet when the camera comes on. So um, in this one, I'm going to be replacing the radiator. The hose for the SPI and the Jubilee clips. Most of the other cooling system has been replaced. Constant leaks on this thing, uh, constant try to source where it is, and I believe the problem is a faulty hose. It's new. A um, few different leaks at some of the ends, um, tried different clips, tried numerous things, but apparently there was a faulty batch of hoses, and I think I've got one of them. So I've just ordered another one while I was there, the radiator. Show you, it does work, but the fins are all getting bent and it's just um, it's tacky looking. So I've ordered another one. Still waiting on it coming. When it comes, I'll show you. But I've went for the mini spares screw in sensor. Um, it's lighter and thinner, so it'll be a lot better to maintain um, when I flush the system. I've got the um, stuff stripped out here. Now I've done this before in camera, so I didn't go over it in detail. But what I will do is I'll put a time lapse on of how I get to this stage um, in just a minute, so that it just keeps it all in the same video. And then once I've done that, I can go into what I'm going to do with these bits. Now, the cowling here is um, tatty, and I'm not paying £80 for a new one. I'm going to get this one off, up on the bench, get it stripped, and I've also got the top bracket here as well, and that'll be getting stripped uh, off paint and then painted. So yeah, I can do that while I'm waiting on parts coming. The engine bay has been cleaned up. It's a fairly straightforward job. But as I always say, apart from the access issues in the Mini, where so should we get started?
as it stands just now with all the um, stuff stripped out. I'll go over what goes where, but first I'm going to get this um, cowling off uh, stripping paper. The cowling for this type of mini, the SPI and the later minis, is one whole piece. It varies depending on how old the mini is. You get two pieces for some of uh, the earlier ones. To remove this one, it's four bolts. One here, one here, and the same on the other side. Okay. Let's get them off. Can you take it off? So, that's loose now. Turn that. You got it? And at that, just lift off. So this is the bit that I'm going to rub down. See it's starting to get surface rust on the inside. It looks tatty, so I'll get a wire wheel across that and I've got some um, high tech tape to go in there as well. The radiator, you can see it is functional, a few years old, but the fins have started to get crushed and um, I just wanted an upgrade from the old push type here where it comes out. It just never felt that secure to me, you know. It, it's never leaked at this end, but I've heard stories where it does, so I've upgraded to the mini spares screw in one, which I'll show you once it arrives. Here is the before. And after a few coats of paint. Okay, let's see what I have bought. So, mini spares, screw in sensor, radiator for the SPI, part number I've got in here, C forward slash ARA4442. Um, and like I say, the main reason I went for this is the screw in sensor here, a bit more reliability, and it's a bit better performance, I'm told. Um, I'll only know once I start driving and using it. It did say in the description it was lighter and thinner than the original radiator. And I've already had a look at them side by side, which I'll do. There we go. And what I'll say to that is it's not any thinner, it's about the same. If anything, probably slightly wider. And I would also say it's probably slightly heavier. So um, that description compared to this, the original, um, yeah, it's not. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Put this one away though. And we'll have a look at what else I've bought. Now if you're replacing the radiator, that's fine, you can just replace that. But there's a few other things I was replacing just to get the system uh, refreshed. So the hose, one of the hoses. Um, some fitting bolts for the cowling, the cowl, and fitting bolts for the top bracket. New cap, couldn't put the old uh, one on without that. The sensor, which comes when you buy the radiator. And jubilee clips. Um, I also have somewhere the join that joins this hose onto the Hose, the heater hose that takes you inside the carbon. So yeah, I'm just going to get all this together and fit it to the car. Obviously add that into the new parts and I'm good to go. First thing I'm going to do is fit the new sensor. It comes with a protective tab. I've just loosened this off. Get the washer. Just get that tightened up, and it's as easy as that. 
So I'm going to fit the cowl on first. Basically, I'll show you here first. This part here slips on the bracket. This screw goes here and tightens in. This is where it starts to get fiddly and uh, restricted. I'm trying my best not to damage any of the paint up in the new cowl as well. So that's it sitting in place. I'll bring the camera down and I'll show you the line up from down here. You can see it's quite restricted, but once it's lined up the hole in here, this um, pin just goes through. Copper grease on it, it's future proof. Just nip that up with a socket and that's the bottom bracket on. Right, I'm going to drop the radiator in here now. The holes that the bolts go through are test fitted on the bench. One of them wasn't lining up as easy as I'd hoped so I made a slight adjustment, it's obviously just a different radiator, so done that on the bench, made sure it all fits, so it should make it easier now putting it on. You'll see in the footage before where I took the radiator out, I took it off with the cowl. Um, they've both got their drawbacks to be honest, that can cause a bit more damage to the cowl and scratch it because it's tight in the SPI here with the fan here. Um, going back, I've decided to put it back in this way. It's um, fiddlier when you've got it on down here but um, I'll just need to work with it and get all the hoses in rather than risk damaging the radiator of the paint so yeah there we go it's still tight you've still got the bottom hose to go in here and because I've put the sensor on already it kind of catches, so you need to come down at an angle just to get by the, the cowl. Cowl secured with the bolts. <coughs> now is the bit with access that I'm not as keen on. So basically, you have the hose here. <coughs> this one's unique to the single put injection, the SPI differs from the MPI and the car models so bottom most of the radiator comes up goes onto the water pump next one goes into the bottom pipe on the injection system and this top one here comes into up here and it joins onto the pipe that goes into the gear matrix what I do is I just put like a smear of washing up liquid to help it go on if I can offer advice, and I've been guilty in the past, buy genuine hose clips, jubilee clips, because the cheaper ones, once they get so tight, they just tend to tear and they'll not go any tighter. Or they'll tighten, but then when they sit like that and you loosen them later on, you'll not be able to reuse them, so they're, they're just not worth the money. And um, they can cause leaks, so it's not worth it. Just pay the money for the, the genuine ones, and um, yeah. So, I'm going to get this stuck on. So, as you'll see I have the bottom hose on. I just need to tighten it up. And I need to get in there and tighten it up. And I need to make sure that Jubilee clip down there is on square. So yeah. These are the challenging parts of fitting the radio. Okay, I didn't film that bit because I just can't get into access it. So the bottom hose, after a few cuts and a lot of faffing, is on, the water pump hose is on and the bottom injection hose is on. The only part of this new hose to go on is this bit here onto the heater matrix. Now, I wasn't happy with the last um, draining pipe so I've ordered a new one to go on there. I had a slight leak so yeah it was just plastic and it looked a bit old and worn but I don't know if it was coming from the pipe or the faulty hose. So yep, peace of mind, new one.
Okay, all that back on. I have got this top bracket that's been refurbed. I bought a refurb kit which is just basically new washers and spacers, so yeah, that's I thought whole new system, may as well just go the whole hog, so Stops any vibrations going through the radiator. last thing to get the radiator connected up is to attach the new sensor. That's all that part connected up. I'm just going to put the airbox back on, get the um, engine steady back on, and I'll get the system filled up with coolant. Engine steady back on, airbox back on, <coughs> topped up the fluid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the engine up to temperature, keep the lid off to get some air out of the system. I'll keep an eye on when the thermostat opens to make sure the coolant drops and there's no air in the system. And um, I'll keep an eye out for cool leaks. And hopefully, I'm at a stage now where I can get them out and enjoy them. It's been a busy few months trying to get jobs done, but um, I'm getting there, touch wood, I'm getting there. So yeah, I have to put the bonnet and things back on, but I'm going to end that one there. And um, I'll say thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!